to Rail 8 Alpha. I hope you enjoyed that ride. Yeah, I am still in uh, Wiltshire in the UK. And uh, well, look at the heroic Harley. Crikey, very, very dusty. But I thought I'd show you that. Witten or the Wilton, Witten Windmill. And um, well, uh, let's go and have a quick look inside. Now, dotted around the UK, there's loads of windmills, of course. That's nothing new. And usually they're flour mills. And a lot of these are kind of got preservation orders on them and local um, groups of people kind of band together and form some kind of charity usually to keep them going. Some are privately owned. Some, as I say, they're just, um, there's a local group just to keep them running as well. Some are still working mills. Some do speciality flowers, that kind of stuff. But I don't know about this one. Let's go and have a quick look. I don't even think it's open. Let's go and have a look. pretty damn big now some of these windmills in the uk are accessible to the public and some aren't it really depends some are privately owned as i say in private grounds others have got public access and this is a lovely little spot here picnic tables and stuff like that let's see if it's open I doubt it is wilton windmill wilton windmill i think i was calling it the witten windmill it's the wilton windmill right anyway Here you go, little trivia question. What are these for? What are they for? Let us know in the comments below. So I think this was a granary store. And obviously that's where all the milling was done. Marvellous. Basically tells you how it all works. Right, uh, back on the road I go. So if you ever want to come and see this, it's the uh, Wilton Windmill and it's in between Hungerford and Burbage. So if you want to go to the Chopper's Cafe or from that previous video, from Hungerford uh, in, uh, in Berkshire, cross over into Wiltshire and then it's basically signposted, it's right here. So a nice place to come and have a picnic. Right, uh, I must get back on the heroic Harley. I have no idea whether I'm supposed to park there. I've got a feeling I'm supposed to walk up there but anyway, so much better on a bike, isn't it? <laughs> anyway, let me get going uh, on these uh, glorious roads uh, that uh, Wiltshire has. I, I say I, I can't praise it enough how how lovely it is to ride uh, on these uh, on these roads uh, with any kind of bike. But you know, the heroic Harley looking very dusty, but coping righteously, I would say. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, Hope you enjoyed that. Hope you enjoyed the ride and the music and all that. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you want to see more windmills, let us know in the comments below. There's quite a few in the area. I do visit them from time to time, uh, just for my own pleasure, but uh, my own interest, I should say. But so I always find these historic buildings that are not in use anymore and that there's local people local societies preserving them i always find them really interesting but i say you know lots of people associate windmills with you know holland and stuff like that but you know the uk still got loads of them dotted about all over the country granted not as many as they used to be uh, that's for sure but you know it's down to the the good people in these societies and these charities or these local people who kind of club together and um you know preserve them and that's what it's all about isn't it right on the road i go catch you on the next video don't forget to subscribe hit that bell like and share check out the website revelatealf.com oh i am parched right ta-da